in this video, we're going to be talking about what match coverage is in Madden 23. Now, match coverage is something that is kind of a catch-all phrase for plays like cover four quarters, cover four palms, cover six invert, cover nine, um, some of those different ones, cover three seam, uh, which plays cover three match coverage. And so today, I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an overview of what match coverage is in Madden 23. Now, if you want to get a deep dive into the best coverage in Madden, I believe that match coverage is the best way to play defense this year because of how effective it is, not only as a base coverage, but when you start to adjust out of the coverage and individually man up certain players and individually adjust things within the coverage as you understand it, you'll start to find that this coverage can literally lock everything down. Now, match Match coverage, the basic um, summary of what match coverage is, match coverage is zone man to man, right? It's pattern matching. And basically you have three main types of coverages. The first type of coverage you have is man to man. That is where the defenders like cover one hole, they're going to man up their assigned receiver no matter what route he runs. Then you have spot drop zone. Essentially what that is, which if you take a look here, if your zone coverage is on default, you'll see that it says zone defenders drop to their zone mid midpoints. Um, and then you can even set zone drops to tell your players where you want them to go on the field. The, um, the beauty of this is that they will never uh, drop depending on the routes. They will always do the same thing. So it helps with consistency. The problem is, uh, as an offensive player, you can predictably determine the inconsistencies, uh, the consistent inconsistencies of spot drop zone because you'll be able to attack areas on the field that those zones can't get to. So that's another reason as to why match coverage is really effective because you're able to drop to places on the field with the routes as you need to. And if you don't need to, then you're free to adapt to the routes. And that's the beauty of the coverage. So the third type of coverage is zone man-to-man -man pattern match or base basically based on the route distribution on the routes that the people run you're going to be able to then adapt your coverage accordingly now the beauty of match coverage is it is typically not always cover three matches a little bit different um and we'll go over that in this series hopefully in the future but the beauty of match coverage is they're actually really adaptable defenses um, because they're typically split field coverages. What a split field coverage basically means is you're going to divide the uh, field from the center. So everything on the right side of the center is going to play one way and everything on the left side of the, of the center is going to play another way. So you can actually, um, by learning match coverages, be able to run a plethora of coverages as a result. With that being said, I just want to get into the basic fundamentals of match defense. We're going to start with cover four quarters, and we're just going to show you this against a two-by-two two set. I think it's easiest to teach um, to start here. So basically, the Nick Saban said this, which I found, or, uh, found this uh, to be very accurate. Um, and I read it also in a book by Cody Alexander, who's kind of like a, a match aficionado. He's kind of the modern-day like match quarters guy. Um, and you can check all this stuff out if you want to check out more about this. But he said that if you can if you can count to three, you can play match coverage. If you can count to three, you can play match coverage. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to teach you the numbering system from that today. But if you guys want to really learn a deep dive into match coverage, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. We have a full ebook devoted to teaching not only how the coverage works, but how to fix the coverage, how to adjust out of the coverage, how to adapt the coverage based off of or against the best formations in the game how to deal with even, you know, all the way down to how do you deal with it whenever their motion snapping you or how do you deal with it whenever they're, you know, going into four, um, how do you blitz out of match, all of those questions. So uh, match is a great, great coverage if you can really marry it and understand it. Um, if you can't do those things, then I think that it's not always the best option, which is why you don't see a lot of people really running this coverage at the highest of levels in this game because I think that they don't, they struggle to know how to adapt out of it because they don't have all the rules of it so um, we're going to teach you kind of some of the basic stuff but if you want the more advanced stuff like i said make sure you're in the patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up get you access to everything uh all the ebooks we already have i think seven and we've got two more on the way this week for you guys if you want to sign up for the patreon the link is in the description below Okay, so let's get into the play. So you, if you could count to three, you could play quarter. So basically what we want to do here is if you take a look, I'm just going to zoom out. And the way that this works is 
they're going to number the receivers from the outside to the inside. So on the right side, Chris Godwin would be number one. Kyle Rudolph would be number two. And then the running back will come back to him in just a second because typically he's actually not counted. But we're going to talk about why he is counted in a two-by-two two set. And then on the left side, you're going to have Mike Evans, who is number one. And then I think, is this uh, Russell Gage? I'm pretty sure. Um, he's going to be the number two. Okay, so you have the number one, Mike Evans, and the number two on the left. And then on the right side, you have number one and number two. So it's a balanced set. That's why I like to start with this two-by-two two stuff. Um, and then what you're going to see here is the running back is actually going to be counted in this defense as the number three receiver. Um, and, and the number three receiver is the most important receiver to understand. And it's typically the receiver that will cause a lot of the problems in match coverage. Um, if you look at any kind of formation, trips, U-trips, bunch, um, anything, you will find that that number three receiver can almost always be one of the major issues or challenges. Let me give you an example. So, like, let's say that we do something like, um, you know, a route combination that looks like this. This can be kind of tricky and sometimes this running back will get open up the seam as you see right there okay so the number three receiver can be kind of problematic just in terms of how the coverage works but the basics of match coverage is essentially when we're playing quarters coverage um, i'm pretty sure that this is also known or taught at tcu as robber coverage and what robber coverage basically means is if number two if the number two receiver on the side that you're playing quarters which in this example we're playing quarters on both sides but if the number two receiver does not run a vertical route then the safety's job is to rob the post of one. They're primarily looking for post routes from the number one receiver because post routes are one of the most common ways that they're going to be able to beat match coverage. So let's say you get a concept that you see and it looks like this. This is the sh you know the shallow cross air raid concept. And what you're going to see here is when number two on the left side goes underneath, then that safety is going to rob the post of one and take that away, as you can see right there. Really, really effective coverage for two by two sets. Um, and so as you can see there, they're, again, based off of the, the patterns, if this guy was manned up on the number two receiver, then you would not see that. And now you would have a one-on-one -on -one with your best player, to the post okay so that's kind of how in a nutshell that works literally the safeties are the most important player in any match coverage defense and they were in this situation are reading the the post or, or their receiver they're reading that number two if the if the if the number two does not go vertical then they're going to rob the post or the vertical of the number one receiver now when i say post i mean post because what you'll see here is if i run this guy on the left side if i run him on a drag route and i run mike evans on a fade watch how this works and you'll see um a little bit here so i'm going to kind of set the same concept up but we're going to run it to the opposite side now and what you'll see on the left side is that safety won't go get the streak until really late in the play and then on the right side though you're seeing that we're still robbing the post of one even though um you know this guy ran a 10 yard in route so that's the primary piece of this. Now, the quarter flats, they're going to reroute, and they're going to basically work the flat routes in this defense really, really well. So the quarter flats' job is they're basically going to reroute the number two receivers on either side, and then they're going to handle those, uh, those underneath drags and flats. So in the sale concept like this, you're going to see he's going to reroute there, and then he's going to go to the back, and then now you're going to see this um, – safety coming down hard on the out route almost made a play on that for us so that's kind of the basic the basic rules now the last rule that i wanted to discuss in this introductory video is let's say that the number one receiver goes on an underneath so let's say you get like a smash concept uh something like this what you're going to see here on this right side is if the if if the if the um, if the number one goes down, then the quarter flat defender should be given a smash call. Um, and he will give a smash call to the corner and the corner will basically bail back to help defend the corner out. So again, you see how this is going to adapt to some of the concepts that are on the field. So in this example, you'll see right here, he's there. Nope, it's not. He's underneath. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to take that corner right away. So that is really some of the beauties of how quarters works. Um, and this is the primary rules. Now, the rules do shift 
Uh, from a two by two set to a three by one set, they're different rules. We cover everything in the ebook for you guys. So if you want to check that out, uh, the link is in the description below. But we'll be doing some more videos, just introductory stuff here on the channel. So make sure you are subscribed, have the notifications on. But if you really want the deep, deep dive stuff on match coverage, I would really encourage you to get into the Patreon. The beauty of that is it also updates throughout the year. So as different um, bombs come out for match coverage, we will update you on how to defend that stuff. So it's always updated year-round support on all of our ebooks all of our ebooks will always be updated throughout the year so if you want to get access to my match uh defensive ebook uh released it a couple weeks ago and still is probably my favorite way to play uh the link is down in the description so head on down the description join the patreon for just 10 bucks hopefully we'll see you guys over there